So printing a dry point plate is much like printing a line etching. It's just got a little different sort of uh, set of considerations you have to think about. So again, we just take a little bit of our ink like we did before with a regular line etching, and then we're just going to kind of um, scrape it on there. But the thing to know about a dry point is that since the dry point isn't actually etched down deeply into your plate, since it doesn't actually go way down there into the plate, it's not actually very, um, very kind of strong, right? So it's not going to stick around for a long time. Usually the most you can do with a dry point consistently is you can get maybe 10 to 20, if you're lucky, prints out of a good dry point. Um, but then that burr that's holding all that ink is going to end up getting flattened down by the pressure of the press and we end up not getting very good impression. So dry point just doesn't last for very long. But otherwise, you wipe it up the same way you would. You just want to stay away from any like really abrasive, high pressure kind of wiping techniques. And so um, that should be what you do anyways. But uh, again, we'll take our piece of paper and we'll throw that in the garbage can. And then um, just like we did before, we want to just kind of real carefully we want to be wiping our plate um, and getting that ink to swirl around on there. So you want to let your ink kind of swirl around. It doesn't matter if it's messy right now. The idea is that we're just squishing it into all the different spots that it needs to go into. And since this plate is mostly kind of white space, this will be a good one for us to practice sort of cleaning up and getting it nice and, nice and clear. So, so again, using a very black tarlatan to start with, I'm just wiping as much of this ink off of this plate as I can, slowly kind of pulling it back until, you know, you can already see my dog shape that's in there, right? And uh, slowly work on pulling this off. And as soon as you see, again, the, the ink gets about to this point where it's kind of a gray, there isn't a lot of ink left moving around. Um, you might want to work out kind of towards your edges at this point. Once you get your plate to about this plate point, it's okay to switch over to that medium dirty tarlatan. So we'll go ahead and set that down. Again, always open up your tarlatan before you throw it back in the bin. Don't just chuck it in there in a ball. Right? And then we'll kind of lay that over that one to air out and then we'll get our medium dirty tarlatan again. Flatten that out and then we'll come over to kind of continue working. And so you can see the medium dirty tarlatan is clearing a lot more ink off of the surface of that plate and it's really starting to clean it up nicely. So I like to kind of rotate it around in my hand so I can get to the spots that are the hardest ones for me to, to hit. And you can see that all these different techniques that I use like the sandpaper, the um, roulettes that are over here on the right hand side of this plate that'll be the left hand side when we print it those things are really holding ink right in here right so that's a very dark uh, a lot of ink is sticky in those roughed up places and uh you know the places that don't have any marks on them all are cleaning up pretty pretty carefully and pretty clearly so so i'll keep going here kind of get this tidied up until Right, okay, and then I'm ready to work on the, the light tarlatan. So this time again, I'm gonna take my medium gray tarlatan, kind of open it up a little bit, throw it back on there, and then I'm gonna move to the clean one. Find a nice clean spot. And again, if there are places that you want to make sure you're polishing more than others, the clean tarlatan is kind of your tool for that. And then uh, just keep going. So now I'm polishing it. So now I'm really clearing all of the ink off the edges of this plate. And I kind of start in one spot, like the top, this bottom uh, kind of corner right here. Just work my way around, kind of systematically moving the tarlis into clean areas. Slowly, you know, making it print, so. So again, I don't want to abrade the heck out of this. I don't want to squish it. I'm just trying to kind of move the tarlatan over the top. So now what we have is we've got a plate that's pretty well cleaned up. I got it pretty well polished. You can definitely see, you know, all the little different spots and areas that, um, you know, the line is pretty, pretty clear in there. So 
What I want to do now is I want to polish it, but if I use the paper on a dry point, it ends up kind of mushing it around in a weird way. It's not very pleasant. So what you generally tend to do, the traditional way of doing this, is you take off one of your gloves and you kind of clean the palm with your hand and you do what we call palm wipe. So you hand wipe this. So you just kind of pop it with your hand and you can see that the ink is kind of coming off of the plate onto my hand and I kind of clean it here on the edge of my uh, apron. You all have your own methods for that, I'm sure. And just kind of slowly, I'm just popping my hand and there's something about the stickiness of your skin as you do this that pulls the ink off of the plate, off of the dry point areas and pushes them down into, a, um, you know, into the low places on the plate and you end up with a really nice um, kind of clean surface that doesn't over wipe. Again, that's the main problem with etching is that you can over wipe your plates and you end up with too much, uh, you know, just too much gray. It doesn't, your blacks aren't black enough, that kind of thing. So you want to go in different directions, kind of just keep working on that. Pop that down so that your hand wipes. So now if you look at the plate, it's nice and clean, pretty shiny. You can always look for the places where the ink is the shiniest. Then I'll go ahead and I'll wipe up my edges, just like I did with the other plate. And clean those and then I am, I'm ready to run this thing through the press and we'll see how it looks once we print it. Okay, there you go. So dry point, dry techniques. A little bit different than uh, line etching, but basically the same principle. So, and you'll get better at this the longer that you do it. Don't expect to be really great at it right at first. It takes a lot of practice.